Hello, Tiago. You're coming off a nice win back in May. Can you describe the last few months? Have they been for you after getting your first victory of the quarantine? Yeah, you know, I'm very happy for my last fight. It was a big win against a veteran like Michael Johnson. But um, after that fight, uh, just kept grinding, kept getting better. So uh, can't wait to show Saturday what, I, I'm, what I've been working on. <clears throat> What do you take from your last experience of fighting in the pandemic in terms of, you know, being in the hotel, no fans? Like, did you bring anything with you to make it easier? Are you more, I guess, more prepared for something in particular? What do you take going into your second fight now with the circumstances? Uh, for, me, for me, it's pretty, pretty much the same, you know. Uh, I'm trying to be focused, you know, uh, focus on my fight, you know, my weight cut, try to relax, you know, and... Uh, yeah, that's it. For me, it doesn't change anything. What is your assessment of Jalen Turner as an opponent? Uh, he's a great fighter, you know, a great striker, uh, dangerous on the feet, you know, has a uh, long reach, you know, uh, he's very tall. So I think that's his, like, strain. And finally, what do you want to show the most in this fight on Saturday for yourself? Yeah, that I wanna, you know, I wanna give my best. Uh, of, uh, I'm gonna try to close the distance, try to get the fight to the ground, and finish him. Thank you, Tiago. Good luck. Thank you. Our next question is from Jim Versalom with the Miami Herald. Thank you. How was the training for this fight? You know, the training went very good. Uh, as I said before, uh, Jalen Turner, uh, he's a very tall fighter. So I trained uh, with Luis Pena, uh, which is the same, same height as Jalen. So, uh, yeah, I'm very used to like, training guys at his size. How long now have you been with American Top Team? I have been training at ATT since 2012, so uh, almost eight years since I was 17. What has that been like? And you've seen ATT grow during that time as well. Yes, uh, uh, we have a great fighters at the American Top Team. I think uh, we are the best team in the world. So uh, every fight, uh, not, nobody's going to bring anything different that we are already, ex that we already have in the training room, you know. How did you get to American Top Team? Was it a recommendation by someone or did something happen? Yeah, I met, uh, I got that through my manager, uh, Alex Davis. Uh, he met me uh, when I was 17 years old, and then he, he sent me to ATT, then I'm there still today. Hey, what is it like being a part of UFC and just everything that they've been able to accomplish and do? Sorry? What has it been like with UFC, being with a company and all they've accomplished and been able to do? I mean, ESPN, just everything that's going on with UFC. You know, uh, I'm very grateful for the UFC for everything they, they are doing to us so we can keep it, uh, providing for our family. Uh, the company is every, every is growing. Uh, I'm glad to be part of that. How do you like South Florida? Man, I love South Florida. The weather, the food, the people, uh, you know, it's a lot of Brazilians. I feel like it feels like home, feels like Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly for me, who did you bring with you for this fight? For me, I bring my coaches that uh, they are always with me, you know, uh, Pahumpa, Macarrão, and uh, Catel Kubis. All right, hey, all the best now. Go get them. Thank you.